Hello, hello guys, it's me Sabrina here. How are you guys doing at home? I know it's tough right now. This uh, MCO period, everyone have to deal with all this lockdown. And I hope you guys are doing well at home. And those that are hospitalized, I hope for you guys to recover fast. And to those that already already recovered, uh, try to stay safe. I mean, just get prepared for the worst as, yeah. Anyway, just stay safe, you guys. Stay home. So, this video about is gonna be talking another experience on my Wacom Intuos. I'm honestly gonna tell you guys I'm still a big noob right here. I just noticed that they have a properties where you can control that which pen you're gonna point at which screen. Currently I'm using two screen here. So like I I always think that oh is this pet only can't be controlled in on a one screen do I have to like swipe it on two screens it's like ridiculous so I've noticed that in their properties they have the control where you can control like uh, where uh, your plan uh, where's the mapping of your screen are you gonna be pointing on the first screen or the second screen and what's the portion area is it the first monitor or is it like a half portion of the Wacom Intuos pad? I really didn't know they have this setting. I am a big noob. Seriously, a big noob. And then I noticed that the pen, you can even adjust like the pressure, the, the double clicking, the distance. And like, which, there's, there's two buttons on the pen, obviously. So there's one at the bottom and one at the the top so usually I kind of get a bit like accidental kicking two buttons yeah that's why I'm still a noob here I'm still kind of like getting used to it so that's why I try to disable the the button that is on the top so that uh, I can control only like one button I usually use those button for like erasing I do a lot like presentation on my like, architecturing or trying to understand like uh, some sort of like data structure or the stuff so yeah I usually like draw and then erase them and then the fun part is that when I'm erasing it on the fast faster speed the eraser automatically uh, enlarge which is quite cool even same goes to the the ink on the pen so yeah you can even control the four buttons on the Wacom Intuos, which I kind of like seldom use it. Usually I kind of like use it for like zoom out, mostly on the zoom out button. Yeah, for the rest of the button, I'm still trying to search their purpose or for myself. Like what, sh what, uh, what can I use it for? So I haven't looked through in the option here. So you can see there's a, the pen button mode, which is like hover click which you like hover over here and there and yeah I'm still quite new to this it's good to explore anything that's new because anything that's new is pretty exciting and yeah on screen controls this is still new for me I will of course explore when I'm uh, on my other design project or data structuring they have a new software which is uh, quite nice not bad not much impact and yeah and again I'm actually using PowerPoint screen recording to record uh, my entire session right here I find it is very feasible very uh, very good to use for uh, throughout my recording session for like technical stuff it's very easy, it's really nice to use it. So, 
and just notice that even PowerPoint presentation they have this cool slides here it moves I'm not I haven't tr I just noticed it today so let's try it on slideshow because I'm not sure how it looks like whoa it looks pretty clear it's a bit blurish which I'm not sure maybe it's the design of it yeah I'm just trying to show you like yeah uh, there's a cool cool features on the presentation slides here so I'm just gonna escape that it's quite new so you have to press twice to escape from the slideshow maybe I try duplicating it does it duplicate yeah it does okay cool it's just not one design I just noticed that this particular design is on the first page so yeah probably I try to erase it Oops, can I do oh yeah, I have to click on the design whether I see if they have any new design for me. Oops, they don't have it. Can I reslide reset my slides? Oh I see they don't do it that way. Anyway, it's cool. But that was pretty awesome, which I'm not sure how I'm gonna get it back that's pretty nice it's not bad it kind of like making your presentation is much more like cool and and not so boring which you can see like, oh there's something moving is this using Prezi no it's not Prezi it's actually PowerPoint I mean I, I mean that probably there's other third party tool already has all this but yeah I mean like yeah, I mean for for Microsoft PowerPoint, I think they're mostly focusing on like getting direct objective of uh, what you're presenting instead of like focusing on designing more. I I'm not pretty sure. Just 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 my point of view. Don't I don't really kind of like judge that much. Just yeah. Okay, I think that's all for today. I'm just gonna just show you guys like oh, there's a settings or properties for Wacom Intuos that you can control like one screen using the Wacom Intuos and the other screen is like for your other stuff you're trying to work on so you kind of like minimize the interference of the pen sometimes it's like hover to another screen it's like ah, why can't I control it only on the one screen so okay that's all for today hope you guys are doing well Stay home, stay safe, and goodbye. See you next time.